Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Crystal Caves, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, right now I'm still in Volume 2, and we're gonna do even more levels. As usual. Okay, it's... Ow, even the egg yolk hurts you? Well, that's bullcrap. So I gotta take care of that bird as soon as I can. But first, I gotta find a light source. That's our first egg. So we got B spell. Now I gotta wait for that platform to come back. Man, they weren't kidding when they said this level was gonna be dangerous. The sign was there to warn me, but I didn't listen. Might be able to kill that bird now, hopefully. Otherwise, it'll continue to be a nuisance. There we go. I gotta find out how to turn on the light. I don't like that it's so dark. Because what if there could be an invisible obstacle that I can't see? Wait. Ah, perfect. Now we can finally see. Okay, the light switch looks a bit different in this version, or this volume, compared to volume one. So that's a pretty nice touch, too. Should I get the gravity first? Something tells me I should just wait. By the looks of things, getting the gravity is the only way I'll be able to exit the level. But I don't think I have all the crystals yet, so why don't I stick around for a bit? Okay, let me get the key. And then you. But it looks like I'm gonna need a hovering platform to get up there. It's going to be one of those levels where you need to be patient. I can see it already. Uh, can I get that? I don't think so. Uh, fine, I'll wait. I don't mind. As long as I get through this level safely. I just have to plan out my moves carefully. But I saw another bird. Hopefully it won't be a nuisance. I don't think it will. I mean, I'm getting the pattern down path. Hmm, looks like the only way for me to get up there is with the anti-gravity. Or the reverse gravity, I mean to say. Because I didn't see another platform that would get me up that high. Therefore, I have to get the gravity now. I got 20 seconds. Make a count. I'll do anything for them points. Not to mention the last crystals over there. Now I gotta double foot it back. So I should get the spider killed. Then I can go. Even though I still had two seconds, I go right side up automatically. I don't understand how that works, but I'm not going to complain. Let's take care of the levels around this shaft. Whoa! <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna kill myself because that was just dumb. I don't want to take a hit right away. So I'll just take the death and move on. Trigger the spikes. I saw that gun. Is that Rocky guy gonna come to life? No. That one did. How many of them are actually alive? Okay, that one's safe. Get rid of those spikes. Okay, I'm going through this level blind, so I'm gonna try my best to be careful. I don't think I need to kill that spider. Looks like I have to get up there eventually. Ah, that, okay, I know how. Whoa! You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna kill ya. Doesn't look like there's any more Kaizo platforms. Just these two. Okay, now I gotta get past you guys and the poison mushroom. There we go. That's one thing that gets very annoying, is that every single time you reload the game, then turn... 
but you reload the game from a file you just used, you automatically had to see the tutorial for every single thing again. It gets annoying that after like several tries, you still see it. Okay, this seems like a good idea. That must be for the gun. That was back in the beginning. Well, let's find out. Ow! Damn it! Cheap shot. But you didn't come to life before, did you? Well, is this gun gonna shoot me now? Okay, no, it ain't. Good. There's spikes over there, so I guess I have to take the long road. Those spikes won't fall. Good. Oh, I forgot about that spike. So that was just a dumbass move on my part. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to get those crystals? Is there gonna be like a red mushroom? Coming up? Let's find out. Careful. Got it. Hmm. This level looks a bit tough. I gotta figure this one out. Let me press the switch. Now I'm down to one unit of health, therefore I can't make any more mistakes. But now that the blue switch is activated, that should be all of them. Huh, <laughs> free fruit. Just spawned right there. I don't see anything special. Didn't get all the crystals yet. Is there supposed to be some way to get to them? I wonder. Is there anything that I missed? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I covered most everything. Where could something be that I have not looked yet? It's like those bugs are gonna come up and get me. See? That one is. And that one is. So, how the hell do I get through there? Am I supposed to, like, have one extra unit of health? If that's the case, then maybe there's no way I can actually get a perfect on this. It'll be clinically impossible! Unless... No, that's not how you... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Duh! Just go underneath them! Can't believe I forgot about that! It didn't seem so obvious at the time until I realized I was going through them underneath. I just had a dirt moment. But at least I passed the level without dying. Again. Okay, what does that do? That's the platform. Okay, this is... going to start off real nice. Already I had to activate a platform to get past the poison boogers. Okay, so there's two switches for the platform. I got you now. And the on switch is for the platform that's going up and down. I see two bipedal rocks. That's gonna be real nice. Okay, now I gotta think about this carefully. Do I dare try to kill one of them? Actually, I don't know why I shot that. Get this guy killed, at least. Now... I think I, I can probably go up and get the key. But let me check what's over here first. I gotta deal with this douche. Slowly, of course. Because he makes it so! Okay, I got some space. Maybe I don't have to kill him now. 
That's better. Now let's go up and get that key and some more ammo. And crystals, too. And I never once attempted Volume 3. I'm gonna say that much right now. I can leave this guy alone. He's not a threat anymore. Hmm. Watch out for the freaking gun! What else is over here? Oh yeah, the bipedal rocks. Better get them killed now. I might have enough time for the other enemies. No, I won't have enough time. It's just not enough, even if the platformer is right at that point. So I'm gonna leave that chest alone. It's not worth my health. Besides, just one there. Oh yeah, I forgot there's swamp down there. Am I making the right choice by going this way? I hope I am. Otherwise, I'll have to go back. Cause I need to drop to the exit. No, no, no! Oh my God, that was so close! I should not be alive today. I almost made a big mistake. Oh yeah, there is a way up there. That's, right. That's the only way I can get there. Wait. Oh, I thought they put like a clear gem there. You would think they'd do that, given the platform. But no, they didn't do that. Oh, oh well. Time to do this level. Okay, anti-gravity right away, but I need the green switch. Now I can deactivate the red one. Of course, both those spikes would fall. Okay, this looks like a very generous level to start off. Aww. The red switch was for the exit. So we got that completely... Oh, come on! That was just a dick move. It's like, I'm going right, suddenly drop left. What? What the hell, game? Well, I suppose I can deal with the tadpoles. Ah, oh, shit! Okay, now it's not going so well. Now I'm down to one hit already. I don't even think I'm halfway through the level. Let me try left first. It might be a bit safe. Actually, I'm not even done on this half. I got more tadpoles to kill. Great. Okay, that's all of them. The crystals can be annoying when it comes to those tadpoles because they obstruct your view of the enemies. Therefore, you have to aim pretty carefully. And hope you don't use up too much of your ammo. Looks like I am going to need the uh, reverse gravity for those crystals. I see what this game is trying to pull. Have <laughs> some sympathy points. Stupid tadpoles. I call them tadpoles, I mean, they almost look like tadpoles. If they have a specific name, really, who cares? It's like, I don't want anyone going, Oh, Bunga, they're not called tadpoles, they're called insert name here. I'm not here to be totally specific or educational. I'm showing you how to play the game, I don't know the exact schematics of their names. Get over yourselves. You're not really making any friends this way, you know. Think about it. Oh, now I gotta wait for that platform again. Uh, that's okay. It's not like I have to wait very long. I think... Once I get the power, I, I can probably go left, too. No, I mean right, too. Depending on when I get it. So that way I'll have time to take out the minecarts as well. I might be able to pull it off. Not making any guarantees, though. Yep, I know these were coming over to life. So I'm going to wait a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. 
Okay, waiting over. Oh, I think I screwed it up. I hope I did not really need the power and to make that the only way I could get up there. Wait, what was even up there anyway? I didn't see any crystals. The only crystals I saw were all the way up to the north. These could be the only crystals I need to get now. But let me take a look at this room in the upper right. I really hope they didn't put crystals there. They did, it's gonna suck. Oh god, they did put crystals up there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, that actually worked. Uh-oh. I knew it! I screwed up. Oh man, th this one is hard. Or at least I know I need the gravity for pretty much only one set of crystals. Nothing else, really. I'm just gonna try not to take too many stupid hits. I'm gonna need them for that very room. So you're not doing that again. I learned my lesson the hard way. This room is genuinely hard. Compared to the other levels, of course. Which were quite easy. So let's make some baby steps and then we'll move on. I'm pretty sure I can hang this now. Yeah, let's go to the chase. There. Okay, yeah, I think I can do this. Have faith in me, guys. Well, we're gonna get this now. Yeah, you die now. Mm, can you get back down, please? Thank you. You die, too. Okay, yeah, I still have 34 shots. I'll be just fine. Maybe I can just save my power-up for hoping to go to the right first. Because really, that's the only reason I want to go up there. If I use the pea power up on the snakes and the hopping green thing, will it still leave behind the slime? I have no idea. I don't think I really need to go for those points, so I'm just gonna leave them alone. I want to get that minecart killed. Okay, good. That actually worked out. That's actually a much better strategy than trying to go for the extra points from, say, the candles and the matic and that kind of crap. It's not even necessary. So you're better off just getting the crystals there and leave the points alone. That's a much better strategy. I mean, if you were fast enough and had the exact timing to a science, you can get everything. That's entirely your choice. I'm not here to be pro. I'm just here to play casually. I can't be like some guy that does everything on expert mode before he even turns on the game. Get everything into a science. It doesn't work that way. Besides, what kind of life is that? You're not having fun if you're doing everything professionally. And now I gotta wait. I mean, I don't want to drop down when I get to zero amidst those four crystals, and I have to start over anyway. That would totally suck. Okay, that's everything. Save for a few point items. We're good to go. Alright, how many more levels around here? Let me do this shaft last. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Wait, I gotta wait for this platform. Let me get myself situated first before I stop. Wait, is there an easy way to get past there? I don't think there is a way. Let me get to that particular shaft I'm talking about. To do so, I practically have to go through here. Like, drop down. Like so. So there's three levels over here. I'm gonna do those next. So stay tuned for the next part. See ya, everyone.